Hi, I'm Nora Casey. I'm delighted to be the Go Red Ambassador for the Irish Heart Foundation. I'm delighted for two reasons. One, I know more than most people how important it is to look after your heart. I was a nurse and when I finished training I worked in coronary care and I saw firsthand what happens to people who suffer from heart disease. Secondly, and on a more personal level, my father died of a heart attack. On the eve of his 70th birthday he went to bed one night and he died in his sleep. We never got a chance to say goodbye. I firmly believe there are things that women can do to look after their heart. They don't always believe that heart disease is going to affect them. They tend to imagine it's a more manly disease, but believe you me, uh, women and heart disease is a huge issue for us in this country. One of the practical things I do, it's not rocket science. First of all, I look after my diet. I think a lot of women that I come across get involved in fatty diets, particularly high protein, not good for you. Really not good for you, full of saturated fats. For me, I only eat red meat maybe once a week, once a fortnight. I try to stick to oily fish, white meats. I love things like nuts and superfoods. In terms of exercise, it's not enough to just do yoga and Pilates. I used to think it was, but it isn't. It might stretch your muscles, but you need to get your cardiac muscles working. So now I do 20 or 30 minutes exercise at least five days a week. I try and do it Monday to Friday and give myself a little bit of time off at the weekend. So what have I done? Well, my hair is a bit flat, to be honest, because I just did a 3K run. I had to squeeze it in because I'm packed day for the rest of the day. Yesterday I climbed Bray Head. I did Karen Tool actually, the highest mountain in Ireland about four weeks ago. I have plans to do Kilimanjaro. Okay, I'm not asking you to climb the highest mountain in Ireland. But you know, get out there and pound the streets because it's really good to get your heart working. You should be slightly out of breath. You should feel that you've got your heart muscles pumping away for about 20 or 30 minutes. And if you don't do it, if you're like me, there are days when you know we have the best intentions in the world and we just don't get a chance to do it. Don't sweat it. Just say, that was today, tomorrow's another day, and you can catch up. In other times, I think stress is a big issue for women, particularly if you've got family and work. You're always juggling the two. You never feel you can actually deliver on both of them to 100%. I'm a single mom. I have a teenager. He's full of life, believe you me. And uh, I try very hard every day to consciously lower my stress levels. I don't believe in stress, but I... I do think that there's little strategies that you can have that are personal to you. Some people it's mindfulness, some people it is yoga, or you know, just contemplating, reading a good book, curled up in bed. For me it's music. I absolutely love music. I did a whole radio program once on how music de-stresses you. And I put my earphones in, so about an hour every day I blast my head with great music and I feel much better after. It's impossible to feel stressed. So all in all, three practical things you can do. Watch your diet. Eat some nice, you know, good oily fish, white meats, eat sensibly, don't follow fad diets. Steer clear of protein only, please. Also do that cardiac workout every day. Get yourself out there on the streets, do a little bit of running, a little bit of jogging, a little bit of climbing, just 20 or 30 minutes every day. It will make all the difference to you. Manage your stress levels. Whatever works for you, whether it's a good chat with family and friends, whether it's curling up with a good book, listening to music, engaging in some meditation, do something to make sure you're stress-free. It's a red alert, women and heart.